Hello, very good evening to you and welcome to the second hour of our fabulous brand new one day special with the lovely John Lockwood. Good evening, darling. Good evening. I haven't worked with you for ages. I know, I was lamenting the fact I've seen you. I've I know, seen you from we've afar. passed in corridors, well, we've passed I, a large distance in corridors. because we can't I've heard you bustling in corners, but I've not yeah. had the pleasure. <laughs> no, now, it's lovely to be back with you. Uh, it's gorgeous to be with you too, darling. And what a fantastic one day special you brought us. I've uh, got to say, absolutely flying off the shelves in advance, 40% has already gone and if you want value for money this is the one day special that gives it in abundance you are getting the box kit which contains the exclusive um, Firth Park frame die set which you see right down there which happens to be absolutely stunning Mr Lockwood and I'm going to Thank show you. your beautiful board that you've got ready for me now this is only exclusive isn't it it is and it's, it's exclusive to the craft store it's yep. not available anywhere else we always do that for the box kit but what we actually do and I, I really want to push this the exclusive die we put with the box kit is not one that we've had done specially. No. It's not one we've done on the cheap. Right. <laughs> you know, it's not one we've had made at the same time. This has come from my full current collection. So it has a coding in the list. And what happens is I choose from everything I've designed yeah. what I think will match the box kit and we put them together. Right. So I don't want anyone thinking, oh, well, you know, that's it's just, just some a, random die set. It's just set some that random die set. And, no, yeah. this is a, no one's seen it before. Yeah. It matches with the Firth Park tags, which I launched about six weeks ago. Right. But I held the frame because it's just such a beautiful, beautiful. frame. And it's so useful on its own, but it matches so well with the box kit. And of course, the flowers on the stamp set fit within that frame. So you've got ready made cards. So effectively, when you add that to the stamps, to the stencil, to the other dies in the set, to the papers, they all match Coordinate. together. They do indeed. And talking of those stamps, I mean, talk about filling your A4 sheet there, John. Oh my giddy! I don't, I don't think there's any space to manoeuvre, is there? There isn't. No. Well, there is. A, there's a rule about stamps can't be closer than seven millimetres. Was that right? Yeah. I did not know that. So what I do is part of the production is they can't be closer than seven mil. Oh. So what I do is I draw all the elements, and then I have a little block on my computer that's seven mil and I run it all the way around oh, to see I where I can right. place them oh, and get so as brilliant. many on as I possibly can. Um, <laughs> because I think you're paying for the whole sheet. You should get as much as you can out of it. And you really do. I mean, there's butterflies, there's verse there. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, there's loads there, the beautiful flowers. I love the butterflies within that frame and the flowers there. Um, just stunning. So we'll, we'll come back to that in a moment because I do want to talk about a big bundle. You're also getting the stunning die set as well with the tags, with the reinforcing and the hole in there as well. And that matches up beautifully with your um, gorgeous stencil there as well. And so this with is all the stamp. There's a stamp to and match the that stamp die as well. as well. But add it to it. If you want to go for a complete bundle now, which is on the screen, you are getting also these gorgeous loophole frames and the classic poppy dies. Now, these were hand-drawn by you, weren't they, John? They were, yes. So, again, these are part of full collection launch tonight. <gasps> and we did do a bit of a pre-sale, so some people may have got it. Yeah. But this was launched tonight. Um, and this is, again, a full die set of mine. I love these loophole I love labels. Them as well. I don't know why. I can't tell you what made me draw them. It's just really I can't catchy. tell you what it is about them. But I just look at them and they're just so... I don't know what it is. I it's really, really like well, I, I just find them so eye-catching and pleasing yeah. to the eye. It's almost like when you draw a doodle and you just carry the continuation on. There's just something so pretty about it. And I love your freehand emboss. And you can really see the embossing in the, in the poppies as well. Just stunning. There, there's, do you know what? There's a lovely delicacy to those poppies. There is. It, it was a suggestion from Jane. And she said, how about doing some solid poppies yeah. as just, you know, in the die set. So I drew these and I put all that sort of detailed deboss lines in it. And I just thought they're just, they're elegant. They're, they're classic. Gorgeous. They will work for absolutely anything. And it was Beautiful. really important to me as well to launch them at this time of the year. Yes. Because I never wanted poppies. to do them. I don't want to do them in October and November. Yeah, the obvious time. I don't, yeah. want, to, I don't want to do and that. I don't want to be on that bandwagon. Yeah, this is yeah. when you see them. I mean, yeah. I've been drawing. As I was driving here this morning, 
the mixture of daisies yeah. and poppies and cornflowers in some of the verges were absolutely Gorgeous. beautiful. This is when they're for. This is, So yeah. that's why we wanted to do it now. I think that reminds me of a beautiful loose sort of crochet knit as well. Um, mm. I, don't th I think this is the year, I, I, in fact, I commentated on this two days ago, but I said, I've never seen so many poppies as I have this year, whether it's just the weather and the climate and that wet May we had. I'm just noticing them more The councils everywhere. are actually planting a lot of their oh, verges with right? wildflower seeds and not mowing them to help the bees. Oh, Where well, I live, good. our council has done that and all around us, all the big verges that used to just be mown grass right. are now big wildflower Encouraging meadows. Encouraging the wildflower meadows. That will explain it, that'll explain it. Now, I should draw your attention to the fact that uh, there's 100 and, what's it, 29 elements within the magazine in terms of top tips. There's, was it 71? There's 71 full projects. Full projects. And that is basically a step by, so 71 projects Wow. in here have a photograph and a step-by-step -step instruction of how oh, to really? make it. And that, to me, is the most useful thing. You can go completely off kilter, but I, I looked at some of these samples that came through, yeah. and I genuinely, despite all the years I've been doing this, did not know how some of these were made. Yeah. Um, I mean, certainly um, some by Sarah. There's one here I'm going to knit back. Stunning. But I wow, would, look at that. You know, I would need instructions on that. I would definitely need instructions on how to make that one. The stencil yeah, there. It's just the stencil, oh, I know. But how's she done the colour at the back? What's she put I don't on know top? How she done you know, but I can just flick through the magazine, find that card, yeah. and Sarah will have told me how to make it. Fantastic. And we've got a why not deal. And um, you know, we've got these beautiful papers and tags and, and everything in here. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, we've got the why not deal in terms of, you know, in terms of the savings being so large. If you're a Freedom Club member, you're still saving and you've got your posting packaging. Uh, paid for basically uh, so two flexi by payments of 20 pounds and 23 pence so that can split the cost over june and well are we still in uh, may we're in june now no we're in june now sorry. we're in june, june and now july. we're nearly in july <laughs> now these extra dies here uh, are in the mega bundle so they're the one day special there but these are the extra dies in the mega bundle so this is where we're just referring to a crochet and a bit of knitting um beautiful beautiful dies there plus the poppy dies that uh, we were just talking about with john so they're in the mega bundle as well as your one day special and that is two flexi by payments of 20 pounds 23 or one off payment of 40 pounds 46 zero three zero eight seven nine so it works out given the greater savings being a free club member uh, that it is worth paying that Freedom Club membership and still taking advantage of the savings. Um, you're going to flick through the magazine as well there, aren't you, I John? am. Well, I wanted to show you sort of how the projects work, but also I was, I've got another one underneath because I tend to have two of everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. People who know me know that I, I, I get one. Oh, I do brilliant. get one as a sample. Yeah. And in, invariably, I actually order myself a second set of the flowers and all of the leaves, and I'm terrible with it, so I've got this thing about twos. But this is a magazine. Obviously, I've got some cards in here, but just to show you, if I go to here, so here's one I've made. Um, not intentional to pick one I've made, but, but, you know, that to me looks relatively complex, yeah? Yes. But here, <gasps> as a simple step-by-step, -step, so it tells you what you need. So basically, all you actually need on top of this is an ink pad, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. An ink pad, some ink colours, um, and that's it. And everything else is, and everything in, the else is in the kit. In the set. Um, yeah. But it tells you step by step how to stamp and how to do it. So every seven steps, we go here to, this is one of Leslie's, it's beautiful. beautiful yeah. Absolutely There's love that. There's a lovely that. stamp frame. But there is the, the card and the magazine. You sometimes think, well, they can't look that good, they're touched up. No, honestly, that's how beautiful yeah, Leslie's work on. is. Yeah. But there's the full instructions for it. Yeah. So it tells you how to make it. So here we've got, like, um, see Leslie's bonus make. It tells you actually go on to Craft World and you can see a step by step for a bonus card. Oh, wow, okay. So, again, there's more in here. I mean, this is one of Nikki's and I think this is just beautiful. Floral fanta oh, fantasies. But <gasps> again, you wouldn't think that was made with the same kit as that. No, not even remotely. That's, that's but, oh, yes, it's media. the same frame, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly God the same gosh. frame. But you wouldn't think it. But I wouldn't know where to start with that. I mean, I've, Nikki's a good friend. Um, She's an editor of a crafting magazine, actually, Nikki. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't know where to start with that. I would ring Nikki and say, how have you done that? Absolutely. I don't need to, because here it tells me step by step 
Gosh. But there are a couple of extra it. bonusy bits in yeah. here, which I'm going to show you, which I know you said earlier a bit. So if we go to the first one, look, tabs me organised. It's so organised. It's not like me. Here is a sneak peek of Christmas. Yay, look at those. So you get a sneak peek of some of my Christmas they're collection. They're on their way. You will unfortunately find that it says in here uh, they're out on the 6th of June. Ah, not quite. Um, because they got the date wrong when they wrote it. Right, yes. Because it should yes. have been the 5th of July. There we go. It's not, it's going to be August now. No. Oh. Because of bo chuggy boats getting chuggy stuck boats, and everything It'll else. It'll be worth the wait, folks. It will be worth it the will wait. Be worth so, the wait. But you have pictures to... You know, I'm, I'm not saying it's because it's mine, but I would look at them, just drool and go, ooh. They, were, they, um, they are yeah. stunning. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're actually, you can see here, if you look very closely, you can actually see the products I have in my craft cave. Because <laughs> these photos were all taken in my craft cave at home. Yeah. So brilliant. Sam was looking at it going, what were you watching on telly? Because <laughs> the telly's on in the background. <laughs> Oh, he said, look, there's your Ellie Chem. Yeah, There's yeah. some your Isaac. Oh, there's some polyfiller. <laughs> you know, he was going through it. So yeah, you've yeah. got that to, to interest. There's also, if I go here, this is, I was talking about earlier. So this is a bit of a sort of question and answer for me, but this is my craft cave. Oh, very this neat. This is how I store yeah. all my products. How neat and tidy is um, that? This is genuinely how I have to keep it. No one who looks on this counter would ever believe that this is how <laughs> I, I do it, but it is. So yeah. you've got that in there as well. A little you've bit of insight to John's world. I can't think where I've put the, the next one. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it was how to make that one. Yeah, Because I just brilliant. love that one again. So there's so much more in there Beautiful. to have a look at, plus all the all things the papers, and yes. all of the papers. Gorgeous so that, frames, you've got the tags there, the small tags. Yeah, and of course, your die, small dies fit those. That's right, yes, I'm But I'll I'm be showing you in the next demo, actually, how we can cut out the larger tags easily. And what were you telling me earlier? Is it Les was it Leslie, sorry, that's hand-painted all it the... It was, um, yes. What, yeah. what I did was, when we had done all the drawings and got everything ready, I sent them to Leslie Lakin, who is the yeah. best colourist I oh, know. Oh, she, these She's are amazing. one of our angels. Yeah. She coloured all of these for me, and this is what I scanned in and used to make the papers. So all of these are the original artwork, coloured by Leslie, and scanned in so that if you, do, if you like the image but you're not a colourist, on the papers you will find these coloured images have been scanned in onto the tags, onto postcards, but you can see. So if you are a colourist, you just stamp it and, and colour this way. Take it's already yeah. been done for oh, you. Oh, what's happening there? That's a bit I think that's the back. Back to front, Fiona. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shows you how different that frame can be, doesn't it, it though? Completely. Look at those, you see? So that's all the original stuff. Because I think it's important to see how where they've come from. Yeah. It's not just been a random... Um, it's not been a random graphic designer no. sat in an office somewhere Beautiful. making these papers. <gasps> it was myself and Leslie who did it all and put them all together. She's so good, isn't she? She's she is so really good, good, John. So she clever. She really is, bless her. And that's what's been printed on those beautiful papers within the magazine as well for you to use as your backgrounds and your tags and your card making. Uh, what was that, my darling? Of the mega bundles, that's including the beautiful poppies and uh, uh, what, what's this gorgeous crocheted one called again? The um, loopy. The loopy. Because the it loopy. is loopy. Just because <laughs> it is loopy, it's like loopy crochet. Uh, loopy knitting. Oh, I mean, look at them. This. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a thing of beauty. Uh, you've got, have you got a loopy one over? Oh, look at these. These are just. Look at these. These are just gorgeous. Oh my giddy. How stunning are these? Oh, look at the poppies. Look at the poppies. Now these, that is oh. the largest loopy folded in half to make a yes. card. Oh, is that fantastic? Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, these are fantastic. Look at these. Everyone's an absolute doozy. Corker, look at them. These are fantastic. Oh my! That's why you need the, that's why you need loopies in your life because uh, you need these. Oh, hold on a sec now. Look at this bag of class. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so stylish. Yeah, I I, I can't that's remember so who's that is. I beautiful. think it might be a Leslie. It's Leslie. Yeah. Oh, she's good. But she's the, everything, good. even <gasps> the sentiment, comes from the box kit. <sighs> Now talk to me, there is a certain verse, I couldn't quite catch what you were saying earlier, John. That large verse, what's it taken from, honey, in right, your the, stamps? the Immortal Beloved. Yes. Now, I get this wrong every time, but this, in fact, what I'll actually do is I'll stamp it, because it's yeah. one of the best ways to show it you. I'm organised as ever with everything around me randomly, <laughs> but that's me, to be honest. So what this is, this is a letter that was written by, and I get this wrong every time, so if you're watching, Mrs. Duck, please tell me which one it is. <laughs> it's Mozart or Beethoven. 
think you said Mozart earlier. Yeah, and I think I've Alex. got a yeah. feeling in my head it's Beethoven after saying that. <laughs> Basically, when he died, yeah. he'd written and wrote a letter to his to his beloved right. that had never got sent, and it was oh. found when he died. Oh, I never knew and that. I've used this text in a lot of my background stamps and collages, oh. but I've never put it out. So it's <gasps> basically, immortal beloved, now and then, joyfully, then sadly, waiting to learn whether or not fate will, fate will hear us. Um, I can live only wholly <gasps> with you or not at all. Yes, I am resolved to wander wander so long away from you until I can fly to your arms Aww. and say that I am really at home with you and can send my soul enwrapped in yours. Or enwrapped in you, sorry. Beautiful, Mr Beethoven. And this is you, that's it again, using your beautiful foiling. Yes, so oh. that's it actually foiled in the Kaleido. The Kaleido, but it's, look at that. It, again, that it's amazing? a great font and text that you can use as a background. You'll find it in the papers. Yes. But you'll also find Isn't it. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I mean, this one, what I actually did was I used a coated card. Ooh. Now, if you use a coated card in the Kaleido, it leaves behind a bloom of foil. Ooh. So I used that to my advantage. Wow. So what I actually that did was so it gives it a beautiful foil distressed look. Ooh. And it leaves that behind. If you use a coated card, you never get a clear foil you get that bloom over it and I, oh. I just love that but again anyone could make that wow anyone could do that it's so Beautiful. so simple that's just one of the many stamps one of the many stamps in the fantastic complete collection as well as the uh, the one day special so sorry john you've got a card ready for us haven't you is this is this I one have. that's in the book or is this just it's freestyling not. no what no? i wanted to do was i didn't want to stand here and give you um, a step-by-step -step on how to make something that you're going to get in the magazine. Gotcha, yeah. You've yeah. got that. So these are all yeah. extra projects that Lovely. you're going to get extra. Of so course we didn't this talk is about using that, yeah. the Firth Park and bringing in <gasps> the paper. Lovely. So in the, in the first hour, I was showing you how you can build your own collages. This time, I wanted to show you how we can simply use the ones already done. So here's a piece of the paper, mm -hmm. and I've tried to make it so that there's a side you'll use. If you don't like that image, yeah? You've got a blank oh, page. Yeah. But okay. even the blanks, I've used old paper, yeah. watermarked old paper design. Lovely. Just so I there's like a little that. bit on yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit of interest. Yeah, yeah, you know, if you wanted a sheet of this sort of colour, this sort of china pink sort of colour, mm. you would you would just buy a piece of card. Yeah. 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 So what I want to do is I want to I'm going to frame that. So Beautiful. I'm going to start with and I'm going to use the Firth Park. Oh. And right. I love this die. So we'll pop that to one side and all I've done is I've cut myself a piece of lilac card. Mm -hmm. Now, normally I know the measurements. Yeah, like, I don't really. <laughs> five and a half, I am on a five and a half kick at the moment. So I've made that five and a half inches, yeah? Okay. And I'm actually going to use the dies in the set. Okay. Because I, I really strongly believe sometimes you, you know, if you're just starting out in crafting, then box kits and collections like this are a really good way to start. Yes. So what I've done is I've included lots of things like plain squares. Plain squares, yes, part, as well as the decorative. Because you may yeah. not have those. So I'm trying to give you everything you would need. So all we're going to do is cut that out. Wow. And that, uh, that die set, I mean, that, I've got six different machinations on this card in the first die set there. There's actually worked out, there's actually more that you can do. You can do, yeah. What I'm about to do actually isn't on the board. No, I just, no I just noticed that, yeah. Fantastic. So what I've done there is I've got then the perfect frame, all cut for me. Beautiful. So what I want to do now is I've taken a piece of black to the same size, and what I'm actually going to do is just take now the insert clean it out. You can tell a die I like because it's got bits <laughs> in it. So I'm going to take the insert and the centre panel. If I just cut that yes. into the card, yes. all I will get is that pattern. Yes, in the it card. It will cut in. So yes. if I want the centre out, I need to use the square. So to I'm just going to take, use right. my long piece of tape trick. So mm -hmm. a long piece of tape stuck onto two fingers. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Leaving your thumbs free. Yep. Yeah. Let's you pick that die up mm -hmm. and let's you hover over that until Perfect. it's even. Yeah. Use your thumbs, pick that up. Then I can drop that where it needs to go ah. on the card. Perfect Let's take placement. that frame off. Yeah. And that's exactly in the middle. So all I'm going to do is cut this. But I want to show you this because it is, I'm going to use my Kaleido. Mm -hmm. Because this die 
has all of this detail, mm. we're going to hit what I call the sleeping policeman. Okay, yes. So I think everyone's fed up of hearing me say this, but we get new people all we the do, time. We do, John, we do. And this so is a perfect kit. What will happen is with. I go in and watch. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a. I oof. have to go over yeah. that bump. The sleeping Carry on through say. over the last one. And what I'll find when I've cut it is all that detail will not cut there. Can you see? Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah? Uh huh. Because it's had less than a second over that. Mm -hmm. So I just rotate it round so that those two sleeping policemen now are going in on the side, put the plate on, and again, I'll hit that sleeping policeman, pull it back through, and that will give it all cut. All the pressure, yeah. Obviously, if I used an A4 machine, I'd do it that you way. you do it on the diagonal, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But everyone looks at it and goes, oh, it won't cut. <laughs> and I, I did that loads because I started with an A5 and then I didn't think to move it. To turn it around, yeah. But you can see there then. Beautiful. From the first die collection. Even though it's delicate, yeah. every little bit comes out. How lovely. So I'll just prick, I'll take those out in a second. But you can see there on the white then. Beautiful, it's so striking. To me, this looks like Spanish lace mm. or something. Yeah. Maybe it's a colour combination. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to put this onto white now. Okay. So all I do is take the middle die, which is this one, mm -hmm. okay, and I drop that into the middle roughly of that square okay. of white, and I'm just going to run that through. Now, because this is a simple line, this will cut through no That's problem, okay. even with the sleeping policeman. Yeah. So that goes through. So now I've got there we go. your white insert. Really simply, I've yeah. got my white insert. Yeah. I've got my black piece. So I'll just yeah. get the little bits out. There we go. And just Ooh. to give it a little bit of definition, yeah. I'm going to grab some of my foam tape. Oh, we had a bit of this in a happy hour earlier, a bit of Walter Strong. Brilliant. So, just go round, making sure you miss where the holes are, because <laughs> I have done that before. Uh. So, really simple. And this will then go over. Now, don't worry about if you're off with any of the sizes. We just trim it down. Okay. But I wanted to show something that you can use with it, but anyone can do. Okay. Follow yeah. step by step. So... Oh, look at that. If that, with the tape, can you see? Yeah, it gives it You that get a lot more depth, depth yeah. and definition in there. So we've got our lilac frame. Mm -hmm. So get the little bit of tape. And the best thing to do would have been if I'd have cut this lilac frame evenly. Oh. I haven't. It's on the wonk. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, see, up there, down there, but hey-ho. We'll ignore the wonk. We'll ignore that. I'll just bring in the one I made earlier and pretend that it's perfect. <laughs> So, but, you know, it happens. You won't notice it. Nah. But I'm just going to take this one off and go over the top. And a lot of people will make frames like this. Yeah. So you'll do this. This is relatively simple and easy to follow. Okay. So we put that on. You can see now we've got all that definition. Mm, wow. Yeah. I'm just going to, what I would actually do at this stage, I'm going to undercut, which means I've got my scissors tilted. Yeah at an angle if you cut straight you'll cut that top frame yes yeah yeah if you tilt them uh -huh. can you see my scissors sliding my under. blade sliding under that top frame doesn't matter what it looks like from the back no no one's going to see that but it just means that you don't make a mess what i would do at home is i would probably now get my craft knife out and a rule and i would go against that line and straighten it all off but nobody cares but biggest problem a lot of people have, I think. You make a beautiful frame and they think, what am I going to put in it? Yeah, yeah. What am I actually going to put in that? Mm. I'm not a stamper, I'm not a colourer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it can't always be a pattern. Yeah. So I'm just going to use the paper. No. Oh. Because that's already done for you. It's so already again, got loads of interesting elements on it, yeah. A little bit of foam tape on it. Fit it all the way around. I am a bit of a demon for foam tape. <laughs> um, but I think it adds... I use a two mil width and it means that even when I've used like three or four layers, it still goes in a normal envelope because I don't go over the top. Yeah. But what I can do now is look through to this paper yeah. and go, right, ooh, how about that butterfly? 
Lovely. Should yeah. I frame that or with the script? With should the I flower. frame those? Yeah. Or should I have a little bit of each? Or should I go with the script and oh that looks nice with that butterfly? Mm. Let's have that butterfly on the edge there and then mm. just go down and again just trim it off because I'm gonna add another focal point. But again, you look at it and you think, well, I've hardly wasted any paper. Beautiful. But I've got a, a really point, nice yeah. framed piece. Yeah. So I want to put a sentiment on. So I've actually already cut one strip in loopy. Lovely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sentiment onto just another scrap piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop that in. And Loopy's in the complete collection, which is on your screen right now. Um, if you just want the one day special, that's at the bottom of the screen, but that doesn't include Loopy in your poppy dies. Right, so shall we go with... Which one are you going for? So I'm gonna many good ones. I'm going to go with one of my absolute favourites. Yeah. I've used this a lot. I'm not going to pretend on quite a few different pieces. This is, remember, you can do anything, anything. but you can't do, do everything. everything. Yes. Because I think a lot of people, myself who is a bit of a control freak, um, need reminding that you can, do, you can do anything, but you don't and can't do absolutely everything. <laughs> yes. You can't expand time, John. No, you can't. Though. Well, that's one of the things I love about the box kit, is because we could not do the amount of product that's in here at that price. No. Because it's, it's done by a large organisation and the box kits go all around the world, so they order a big quantity. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's why it's at that price. I know we couldn't match anywhere close that no, if we wanted to do no. our own. I mean, the die set alone. Yeah. Just, you know. just couldn't do it. So there I've got my sentiment stamped. Remember, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. And I'm just going to frame it with the loopy, just watching to make sure that it's kind of on the same line. Yeah. It will fit. I tested it before. It's okay. <laughs> so again, just run that through. But this, again, will cut beautifully easily. But the only thing I do say on this one is... If you're unsure about your die cutting machine, yeah. if your die cutting machine has a lot of pressure or you've used this a lot, yeah. you will find the loops are very, very tight. So it may be worth to get it out. Can you see how fine those lines are? Yes, yeah, they if are. If you don't pull that out right or, you know, sometimes they stick in the die depending on the card. Yeah. Use a tumble dryer sheet over. Okay or use a piece of wax paper and it'll, see that's released easily. It did, yeah. But if it hadn't, if that had have stuck in, that would have torn, torn really it, yeah, easily. yeah, because they're so delicate. Yeah, and we don't want that. So again, no. I'd rather tell you that you may find that. So a tumble dry sheet, what does that do? Um, a I mean, a tumble dry sheet basically is coated in silicon. Oh. So all you're doing, dyes are not pure metal. Yeah. I know people think that it's just a sheet. It is a sheet of metal. Yeah. It's been acid etched, but it's then given a coating. And we have all of ours, all of the, the Crafts 2 John Next Door press cut dies are Teflon coated, which is a non-stick coating. If they yes. weren't, the die would never come out. Yes, yeah? right, OK. Um, so, and what you actually do is, it's a little bit like, you think about your pans. When you've used <laughs> them an awful yeah. lot, yeah. some of that coating, it never comes off, but it... You know, I mean, that, when you've used a pan for three yeah, or four years, yeah. your eggs start to stick yeah, a little bit when they weren't supposed to. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, when they said, no, no, we'll never stick. Yeah, yeah no, they do. Um, it's the same sort of thing. So all you actually do when you're putting wax paper on transfers, wax to the dye. OK. And That's it must be tip. wax paper or a tumble dryer sheet transfers okay. silicon to your dye. So I just need to grab some glue because me being me, of course, not got that out either. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. So, just going to add a little bit of glue on there, and I'm going to offset against the black one. Ooh, I'll bring a piece shadow. of white in, you'll see yeah. it. But just because a die is a certain size, but can you see there? Oh, so pretty. They are designed so you can offset mm. two colours and oh, have it going, that. you know, lilac and black, lilac and black. Like a checkerboard, but yeah. circles, yeah. So, all we need to do to finish this now is a little bit more foam tape, because why not? <laughs> so let's just count, okay? Okay. We've got foam tape between the white and the paper. Yeah. So that's one. Yeah. We've got foam tape between the white and the black, so that's two. Two, yeah. And we have foam tape between the black 
lilac. and the lilac, so that's three. Yes. Yeah. So I need one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I need one, two, three on that end where it's going to go into the frame. Sit and of proud. course, I want it to raise a little bit higher from the frame. So I put a fourth layer on. For good measure. Yeah. And I put a little bit on the frame where I want it to go. Yeah. Take that off. And that way, it won't sag. Nice. So I can do, remember, there you go. So that is now completely even. Turn it over. It does look amazing. Trim out. Count your foam tape. I know that sounds so no, weird and alien. No, I was wondering where it was going and I realised to, to get the proudness uh, Yeah, flattened. otherwise yeah. it will just sink in. Sink and in. Bend and and yeah. we want it to be proud, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto here. Onto a card blank. Beautiful. There we go. And really simple. Gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely stunning, John. Right, I'll have the quickest recap, so we'll come straight back cool. to you. So... Uh, the Mega Bundle includes that beautiful loopy frame set that John's just been using. It also includes the stunning poppy set as well as the one day special. Now almost three quarters of the stock has gone. Um, we've got that two flexi-buy payments as well. £40.46 pence, or two flexi-buy payments at £20.23 pence if you're a Freedom Club member. So it's a bit of a why not deal. For the extra £7.97, you're still making a saving. You've got your postage and packaging paid for, not just on this item, but for the full month. And then there's other Freedom Club savings to be had uh, during the month in terms of whatever you're buying. Um, so you're also getting the fabulous book there that uh, John has got over 129 tips, over 70 projects in there. All of those lovely sheets there. We've just saw um, the beautiful butterflies in the lilac. He's got that in the lovely sage green and in the blue. You've got the tags. You've got the large tags that you can see there. You've got smaller tags. You've got sort of the A6 size, the postcard sizes there as well. Or oh, shouldn't I touch that, should I, Ryan? Don't touch it, Fiona. Never touch it. You, that's why you've got samples behind you. Don't touch it. Uh, you've got all those fantastic stamps um, and they all coincide this is what I love about it. it's very cohesive the collection it's not just random bits plopped in it's for them all to work together then you've got that beautiful stencil with wish love fly again you've got the butterflies can you see that stencil it ties in with the stamp it ties in with the die set as well that you've got there the die set with the tags coincides with your beautiful um, tags that are in the papers as well and you've also got the reinforcer hole and the hole and it's got a lovely stitch element as well you've got your little flowers there on the dies um you've also got the the first die set collection a fraction of which we just saw with john um in terms of the usage you know so you've got the square dies in there if you're a beginner you've got the lovely um beautiful almost we sort of said moroccan it just has that european feel to it as well whether you want to cut it into the frame out of the frame decoratively within it plain squares you know great if you're just starting so that's just your one day special but then you can get your loopies as well this is what john's just been using and those beautiful embossed because they are embossed within the die cut there, those poppies as well, which is the majority of you going for and approaching three quarters of the, of the, of the collection gone there. £40.46 for the complete collection. If you just uh, want the one day special, it's at the bottom of the screen, but majority of you going for the complete. It's just beautiful, isn't it? 030879. So many. So, I, mean, I mean, I don't know where to turn. There's so many stunning samples behind here with the fabulous team We've got leslie i keep picking up leslie's um another leslie there the same leslie but another piece there uh, oh there's leslie i will pick up somebody else's let's have a butterfly ah margaret lovely margaret look there you go look at those beautiful poppies there um that's hazel's all oh, your lovely angels there oh my goodness so, you could tell you could tell john they loved it because there's so many gorgeous samples i know that i say this a lot you can tell when they like it when i get a box full but the poppy didn't go out to many people oh. and i just got so many back and everyone kept going when's the deadline i have another idea when's the <laughs> deadline i have another idea <laughs> too many ideas yeah I, I didn't feel this time like i was squeezing them going come on i need these do I something mean, yeah, we need we need another studio there's for more all. under here there's more there's loads the boxes. there's loads we'll yeah. get to them we've got all day tomorrow as well john uh 44 pounds 96 if you're not a freedom club member so it's a bit of a why not deal 
40 pounds 46 pence right there are some others that i want to mention on the show beautiful beautiful butterfly bundle again this works beautifully with what you've just seen as well um great saving you get 16 dies in this set um the large and the small butterfly die sets and um, what's the thinking behind this john because it is well, stunning this was the deco butterfly collection and i'll be honest oh, beautiful this box kit was <sighs> supposed to launch in march oh okay and it had been designed in march and i actually thought we would launch it with the with the deco butterfly and the butterfly frame okay so it was that's why it was blooms and butterflies gotcha. now due to the whole world situation delays i mean there's everything that possibly could have gone wrong on this has the boat broke down uh, really earlier in the year oh, no. it had to be towed into port we had the series i mean i've been told so many different <gasps> reasons and things that have gone wrong on this and even then it was due to launch at the beginning of june Oh, and it sure. was delayed because it had to divert to another port, port in Europe rather than Britain. Literally everything could have gone wrong. So what I wanted to do was to give people a chance to, who hadn't got the butterflies to get them because obviously <gasps> they do match in with the butterflies in this set. I have to turn this one on, John. This, it's been worth, oh, it's been worth the wait, yeah, isn't I it? The deco one. large butterfly. So all the trials and tribulations, it's yeah. been but these Worth will it. work perfectly with the papers. They'll work perfectly with the stamps. They were designed in a similar Ooh. time. So they were designed at a similar time to match together. Got to turn on this one as well. So, ah, oh, just beautiful. So beautiful. £18.98, well worth the wait, despite all the tribulations. Uh, just beautiful. And, uh, I mean, look at these, these stunning, stunning samples here. But I again, you, could, you, yes. you can see how the beautifully they oh. would tie in with Gorgeous. the butterflies Wouldn't and the they? blooms and things that are actually in Perfect. the die set. And it's why the die set doesn't have any butterfly dies in it that come with the box kit because it was, this was the original. going to come out with this at the same time. Gotcha. £18.98. Don't miss out. 412969 £9 saving. Now, the tag die. Oh, my gosh. Again, so many beautiful samples. I've got a box full here. And again... This ties in with your large tags, does it? It does, yes. Yeah. What we've actually done is, um, for the production um, of the papers, the actual tags couldn't be made as long as the die. Right. But I'm going to show you in the next demo how easily ah. you do it. So if you don't want to fussy cut them, the middle die in this tag set will be, will fit the tags in the paper pad. Ooh. perfectly and you have the very last of the stock of these oh i actually thought these are gone we they found some more <gasps> um um but this is the last of the tags so once this is gone they will not be coming back because this oh. is the last of them and only 11.99 so we need to get these because john's going to show us how to use that with the one day special there 11.99271878 so i need to put all those back in the box now they're just beautiful this one's made a tag book gorgeous uh, must have a quick look though as well at uh, our lovely craft artist co colour petal ink boxes um, these are just saturated with rich colour they are they, they are beautiful you've got one pearl in there <gasps> and then two what we can one is tea time one is rainbow yeah so you've got beautiful pearl inks which is in the one with the black base yeah they're all pearlized so they're all set with mica yeah yeah then the other two are basically one is your primaries which is your rainbow yeah the next one, your tea time, are your secondary colours from your primaries. Ah, so can you see there, you can see a dark secondary. blue and a light blue on yes, the first one. Yeah. Look at the light blue on the second one. Yeah. It fits between. Yes. So yes, I what see. What you've got is primary and Let secondary colours. Do that. In the between same there. with the greens. If you work it round, you'll see the two greens again are almost the intermix between yeah. those between the blues the same with the orange and the yellows and the pinks and the reds so you've got your primaries ah. and you've got your secondaries Ooh. and basically they are nearly all the colors you need Fab. because from them you can mix any other color and because they're pigment ink you can watercolor with them you can heat emboss Ooh. with them you can stamp with them you can blend with them they'll go through stencils <gasps> these are my go-to inks because i can do everything I can do them on my media plates, you can do them on your gel plates. Wow. Because they're actually mixed and they're water-based, but Gosh. mixed with glycerin, so it's a longer drying time. Fab. And we're also getting the pearlized crystal card yep. pack. So Jane said this, this is our crystal card, Gorgeous. and this is perfect oh, for getting a beautiful, beautiful blend on. So I think you get five sheets of the crystal card yeah. at A4, 
and then get two of the flower paper of the A6, oh. which are perfect. Colour that out and cut flowers from it. I will be doing that tomorrow. It's absolutely beautiful, certainly with the tiny dies that are in the set. Fantastic. £37.97, 409.536. Brilliant. Right, John, let's go to you and take it right. away, my darling. Okay, so we said about the tags. We said so about the tags. Yes, we need I to get thought, this we'll one. I'll try and make a gone. quick card, but I'll show you using them. So I'm going to grab the tags. This isn't the full set. I yeah. workshop this, so I have a lot of sets of it. He says moving them away sneakily <laughs> to his mini craft cave that he's got behind him. I have, I've got a little section there with all my boxes and I have them at home. So you've got your large tag, your medium tag, you've got your holes, you've got your cor photo corners and things. Yeah. But the tag that matches the paper is the middle size one. Yeah. Yeah. And what you do is, now, if I'd done this, can you see to size? Yeah. I wouldn't have got, got two lots two on. on that uh, but sheet, yeah. If you choose which one you want to use, so I'm going to go with this one. Yes. It fits exactly. Oh, it's just the bottom end there. It's the yes. other reason why I insist on drawing everything myself. Yes. <laughs> because I know it will match with what people have got or what ah, I've already got. You see. So all you actually do is I'm just going to trim literally because I don't want to waste it. I shouldn't have taken that on first, should no. I? But Make it hard for just, yourself, John. But perfectly, we can still die cut it exactly and just snip off our end. And all you do is snip off oh, the bottom. Brilliant. So if I run that through, let's just snip one off. Now you can you can fussy cut these. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You really can, but there's so much more you can do when you have a die that matches, because this actually punches all the holes in. Because but also, lovely, what yes, I'll be showing detail. you tomorrow, I think it's for the 8 a.m. I'm going to show you, if you've got any left, I'm going to show you how to make a card blank, like a triptych with it. Ooh, and then, lovely. of course, we can decorate it with the papers. Because it's got a lovely stitched edging around it. I don't it know if has. you can so see, you see that. see there, yeah. that fits exactly. And die cut gives you a better finish yeah. than just hand cut. It really just does. Just smarter, Because it? it chamfers the edge. Yeah. And then all you have to do is go... Snip. And that fits exactly. That's so much easier. And you can see there that beautiful colouring that Leslie yeah. did. Oh, where I've amazing, scanned it in and that's all been coloured for you. Gorgeous. So that's the medium size tag. And of course, there's 10 dies. Once these are gone, they're gone. They're not coming back. We're very busy on these. Over 30% gone. So please don't miss out. 271878. Yeah, please be quick for that because I can't see this last until tomorrow morning. No, so, but I mean, what I was going to do actually was, um, because we can't at the moment, no. I was going to give you one and a pair of scissors and say, right, can you Have cut that out and see how quickly <laughs> you can do you. it in, in between, yeah. <laughs> um, but the other one I did was these ones. The little ones, yeah. The mini tags, this die for these, I included in, but it shows you, because my tag dies are not new, Yeah. but I kept exactly the same shape and aspect uh. ratio. So if you've got these, look, you can actually make a beautiful tag frame yes, by mixing together yeah. the actual one, the smallest one from the set and the, the largest one yeah. from the box kit. Could be a lovely flagon, John, not just a tag. Oh, it could, could couldn't it? Could be a lovely bottle of sorts or an yeah, urn it could. or something, you know. See, I'm funny. Once I've got a shape, yeah. that's my shape. You will see this tag shape coming back again. <laughs> I think it's coming in September and Christmas. Oh, that, that's great, though, because then we, you know, everything works well together. Yeah, you know, I, so I can't, I hate the idea of putting, of people ever buying one of my die sets and putting it away. I'm going, I've used that now, I'll move on yeah, to the next one. Yeah. No, everything is always try wherever I can sized to match to be perfectly sized together. Wow. Um, and so they will work with each other. So you can see there we get the mini tag. Gorgeous. So I've got my big tag and I've got my mini ah, tag. Ah, adorable. But in the same aspect. And you see on here where this is lighter. Yeah. That's part of the design. Yeah. So that it looks 3D. Ah, so I hold like that one up. It, yes. Can you actually see? Yeah. Um, sorry, this is me being very demanding. But can you see how 3D that looks? Because mm. it's got a light reflection down one side. Mm. And it's got a light reflection. Can you see up on the top? Yeah. So that's actually drawn in to make it look like it's more 3D than it actually beautiful. is. Beautiful. With yeah. Leslie's beautiful colouring, it's perfect. So I'm going to make a quick card using the, all of those bits. Gorgeous. So what I've done here is I've already cut out, because we've cut this before. Yeah. This is the loopy. 
With our loopy yeah. die set. This yeah, is our loopy die bundle. set. And I want to show you, we're going to use this as a card blank. Lovely. So what you do is pull. Is like, yeah, you fold it over card. Don't score it. Yeah. Because it won't work. I promise you, if you, oh, if okay. you don't measure score it and it. score it in the middle, oh, okay. it will not meet up. You need to make sure that these points meet up perfectly like that there. Yeah. Then what you do, once you've got that, I'm trying to do it so I can show it. So <laughs> there we go. Match those up perfectly. OK. Take your bone folder and pull to the middle. OK. Yeah. And then fold out. That leaves that edge perfect. Yeah. Perfect match. If you I've score that, that in the middle, when you fold it, trust me, it'll go off like that. <laughs> okay. Always will. So there we've got a really nice, I'm going to put this one up. You can see a really nice card blank. Here we but go. But that is still, that's actually no A6. So that's an A6 or a C6. That's or you yeah. can put it that way. So that was the one we held up earlier with your lovely poppies, yeah. wasn't it? I just so showed. It just works really you said to me, that's a full card, Fiona. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So we've just folded the loopy. So... Good we tip need though. to. I want to put yeah. some um, paper on this. So what I've done is, I've already cut again the dies included in the set. So it's the inner die from the loopy. I've actually done here. I've cut this out so it gives you the perfect mat and layer. But don't stick this on. Yeah. Okay. Why? Before you fold it. Oh. You must put it on afterwards, because when you fold two layers, they go off. I know that sounds weird. You would instinctively, you would, would glue that onto there. Because it's flat and I don't want to get it in perfect yeah. position. I would. So you would glue that into there. I would. And then what you would do is you would probably score in the middle, fold it over. Yes. But those two wouldn't. And that bit would what I call bump. Mm. And when you fold it, it would go up a little bit like that. Okay. Always does. Okay. I've tried it both <laughs> ways. It's one of those, trust <laughs> me, I'm not going to show you, but trust <laughs> me. So what I do uh. is just fold that in half again, match it at this side. Okay. Yeah. Come back to the middle and score out. Gotcha. Yep. yep. Then you can glue it on. Okay. So I'll just take my fine glue applicator. These good top again. tips, you see, you've, you've learned by doing, haven't you, John? I have. You know. I've made ev I haven't made every mistake in the world, trust me, <laughs> but I have to know why something won't work. Mm. I have why to is know it doing that? what's the best way to do it. And I will spend ages playing to go, well, what's the easiest way to do it? Because I'm lazy. But <laughs> that way, uh, I can actually fiddle and get that even. Yeah. Can you see there? Yeah. And can you see that? There's a, like, always a little lip at yeah. that end. But if I hadn't done that, that would not lay flat. It wouldn't sit flat. I think I added and then you'd open it up and have that awful big crease down the spine. Well, then you get it? the yeah. big spine and it cracks or it, it, it has that, it's like a lump. lump. And you've, you've yeah. seen it where you yeah. open it out. When I lump. open that out now, can you see how that isn't quite, that's yes. to a point? Yeah. Yeah. But you wouldn't glue it on that way flat. <laughs> but when I close it, look, it's perfectly flat yeah. because that's how it works. Paper <laughs> stretches and moves. It's weird. So uh. I've got my tag. So I've got my tag. I've cut out using the die. Yeah. Another tag in the other paper. Mm -hmm. So I would now punch a hole or whatever. So I'm just going to foam mount those on. Now the tag dies. Once these are gone, they are gone. Over forty percent has gone now. Please don't miss out. You've got uh, ten dies. I don't know if you can see that lovely stitch detail there as well. And don't forget that middle one. You just chop your bottom off. That fits in with those lovely tag papers that are in the complete collection as well as the one day special there. Eleven ninety nine two seven one eight seven eight, and that is the exact same shape as the small tag dies, which are in your one day special in your complete collection as well. So brilliant value. So I've just put that tag on, going against the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really simple. You can see that. But it echoes the paper at the back. It looks great, yeah. yeah and I've cut it so that I've got that Butterflies. butterfly edger, yeah. which is the same but a bigger version than the stamp. Uh -huh. So it matches together. So I can then go and pop this one on at an angle on the top, just like that. And then I've got some little ones I'd already cut out here. Not like me. I've been so organised. But you can see, so oh, so I could actually 
again, just copy wherever I want to go. Mm -hmm. I could do, you know, on a run or I could do, you know, I could bring in a little piece. Oh, yes, again. Oh, I quite like that. So let's yeah. have a piece of that. So it's a case of playing with the dies yeah. because everything ties together. So I'm going to go up there. But again, this time I can match it at the edges. And I'm just going to chop that off because mm -hmm. I don't need that to go around the back. But there, I can then get an echo of those two little dies mm. on the little tag. Beautiful. So again, a little bit more foam tape, just because it's a lot easier to use. Oh, and I did get the update through. It is Beethoven. It is Beethoven, Emotor, yes. Your, your lovely bit of verse. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't got my phone down here and a friend hasn't texted me and said it. <laughs> and so when I look down there, I can see it. I, I wouldn't do that, Adam, honestly. <laughs> so... Because and there's no phones in the studio, I know, so I don't have mine. No. It's psychic. But you can see that. And then what I've done is, and I've done, I've done this for speed. What I'll do is I will actually cut these because I have got enough time, I think. This is the little die that cuts the flowers. Ah, yes. Yeah. yeah. So I've taken a contrasting Card piece stock. of yeah, green. Yeah. But these are perfect for using your scraps. So oh, all I need to do... Yeah. It's just literally on a scrap of card. And I would sit at night with these sort of dies yeah. and cut lots just of them. You know what? You know when you're yeah. watching mindless television? Yeah. And usually, you know, I'm what, you know, you know, we're watching something mindless on TV. Yeah, that's So I've got of my phone job. in my hand playing my game or, you know, something. <laughs> Rather than that, you know, pop your machine there or if you've got one of the tiny ones, use that and cut quite a few flowers yeah, out. Yeah, just get a little collection. Yeah. Going. You know, there's that sort of TV you watch where you know you don't have to get involved. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you like that. You need that, though, don't yeah. you? Just because yeah. you read a bit. Definitely. Yeah. I must be honest. I, mean, I was saying to um, Catherine earlier, I sat on Saturday um, and I actually sat and watched her crochet craft along. Oh, And it was lovely. brilliant. And because the way she did it, I cannot crochet. Yeah. I think I now can. Oh, my goodness. Because that's amazing. I, she did it three times. I could remember what to do yes, it. Yes. But I mean this in the nicest way, but it was lovely, mindless television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She you was know, taking it was just it nice. She was taking you. me through it. Yeah. I'd got my book as well. Yeah, and relaxing. And I was reading and, and relaxing. And it was lovely. And, Aww. yeah, that's the sort of thing you can do. So all I'm going to do now is I've got the... You see how the flowers come out mm -hmm. so easily? Gorgeous. Really simple. All different sizes there, yeah. yeah. If you've got, you know, some moulding foam, you can use some of that. Let's mm -hmm. pop these on. Um, and just use a ball tool. If you haven't, so I'll show you what all I would do with this is just take a ball tool and press it lightly mm. in the middle. Just to 3D it slightly. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got the moulding foam or anything, you know, if this is the first thing you've got, pop it in the palm of your hand, mm -hmm. yeah, and just press. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And it will work. It won't give you, you know, you can start with the foam going and, you know, really prettying them and really sort of curling it. But again, you can still do that a little bit more gently in your hand. It, you just don't get as much thing, but you can. Yeah. I'd hate to say, oh, you've got to have this and you've got to have that and you've got to have this. And what I tend to do is just decide, first of all, where I'm putting my flowers. Mm, I love that colourway, that lovely Absolutely. sage green. It's beautiful. This Isn't is one of the lovely? crafts two linen cards. I'm sure we'll try and bring this. Yeah. I think we I think I'll going to try and see if we can bring a pack of the greens for Christmas because yeah. they are like so different. Kind of green, yeah. Than, sage green. than any of the others I've seen before. But I'm just going to then. And I know this seems strange, but I find it a lot easier than trying to arrange them with glue on the flower to put the glue down first where I want them to be because I'm more random mm -hmm. and I keep them more in the pattern. So let's go. There we go. Get these right, John. Never do, obviously. Okay, no, you're far too big and far too light. So you mm -hmm. can go there. We'll take a tiny one of the dark green. But again, Everything in here is in the kit. Yeah. So all I've added to this is glue. Yeah. Glue and, okay, yeah, you could cut the, and I've added the tag dies um, to cut the tag out. But again, you could ones, use it with yeah. scissors. I'm just too lazy and I think it gives a it nicer plate. But if I hold this one up, out. you can see. Let's just stick that flower down. Sorry. While poor Chris is getting his shot. There we go. Beautiful. 
but again all, all sort of tying and matching together mm. it's almost the same design in a different size but that blue just lifts it that little bit Gorgeous. and i just finished that probably to be honest with some little blue or white pearls in the middle of the flowers yeah beautiful there's a, there was a oh i don't know now there's so many lovely samples here one that i saw and i saw all the little pearls around the outside oh where's it gone i've been lift, sifting around haven't i there's, there's far too many there's now. there oh, are far sure. too many samples i'm really I know. sorry oh there we go there it is look at that uh, just because you were talking about that's leslie's the pearls around the loopy just in between the lovely delicate loopy die set which is in the complete collection there so 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 pretty john absolutely fantastic uh, you're going to be with us this tomorrow morning at eight o'clock i am what, yes well as long as we've got stock what, what are we going to be looking well at i'm going to have a look at trying to do a tag card with that okay lovely and i'll be showing you some more with the stamps and the stencil and things like that because i haven't touched on those in this hour no all. no maybe we'll discover how that stencil card came about yes lovely <laughs> now the stencil is in the one day special and uh in the mega bundle now we've got the mega bundle here 037879 that includes your loopy dies there and those stunning poppies or oh, can we do something with the poppies again tomorrow maybe yes i ought to do something with poppies something with the poppies i am a bit obsessed uh 40 pounds 46 pence it's a why not become a freedom club member because the saving is even greater and you even if you spend the money to become a freedom club member you are getting your postage packaging paid and you've got it on two flexible pence of so 20 pounds and 23 pence and you're still getting a saving three quarters of the complete collection has gone three quarters of the stock so uh, please 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 don't miss out john is with tomorrow at eight he's hopefully doing another three shows with it all but oof, if it lasts the tag dies might not so don't miss out on those and those beautiful kaleidoscope butterflies which work perfectly with the collection as well if you just want the one day special without your loopies and your poppies uh then it's still a tremendous bargain of under 20 pounds there and uh that is 19 pounds 98 and you've got that lovely as an uh, exclusive Firth Park frame die set in there as well. Over 129 hot tips there, over 70 projects there in that fantastic book with all those gorgeous papers and tags. It's busy, it's busy, John. There's so much to talk Sorry, about. Th there is, there's too much in it and there's oh. too many samples. This just, and it's excellent value. It uh, is. That's, and I, you know, I know I always say I shouldn't say that, I always do, but this really does represent oh, excellent value. Honestly, you just couldn't, you couldn't make it for that much. You just couldn't. No. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. We'll see you in the morning. If you've got any questions for John relating to any of the projects there, uh, please let us know in the morning. Email us in or let us know on face cloth. I know John will be happy to answer those to you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. I don't want you to go anywhere because we've got a great craft along coming up next. We're